Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about Batek Veneta padded cassette bag. So if you're interested, then keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Aika. I post a lot of fashion related videos, shopping vlogs, reviews and unboxing. So if you're interested in any of these topics, then please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting the red button down below and also turn on the bell to be notified every time I post something new. So let's start with the bag. I did an unboxing four months ago, so I bought it at the very end of September. September. I received it beginning of October. So it's been four months and I did an unboxing. I talked about the bag. I showed you what fits inside and I also showed you the mod shots which I'll be using for this video as well. But in this video I want to do a summary review of everything. So we'll be talking about characteristics like more in depth. Then I'll be talking about what fits inside, wear and tear, pros and cons and whether or not I think you should go for it. So let's begin. On the website it says that it's made with white double face napa strips in an orthogonal weave and this is very classic of Bottega Veneta. The only difference is that this bag is padded so as you can see it's very very puffy. You can find the same bag uh, not puffy at all. It's going to be pretty much flat and more squared whereas this one is truly like a pillow and it's so soft and that's why I've decided to go for it because it's this soft and it just looks so cool and so unique. So when you open the bag this is the closure. Right now on the website they say that the bag has a magnetic closure. I'm not sure about that because mine is definitely not a magnetic so you have to pull down a little bit in order to open and close the bag. But the inside lining, as you can see there is no lining at all. The interior of the bag is exactly the same and I'll talk about the interior a little bit later in this video. This bag also has a zip pocket over here. It is very flat though so so you won't be able to fit that much inside except for a seat. I, for example, store the Bottega Veneta card in here, which came with the bag and I never remove my cards, the authenticity cards, whatever cards I get with the bags, I always just keep them in this flat pocket. That's pretty much it on the inside. Um, it has this non-removable but adjustable shoulder strap that looks like this. My bag comes with this aged silver hardware as you can see. It's very understated. There is not a lot of hardware going on. I, I mean this is the only part that is visible for you guys. Um, otherwise it's just the lock on the inside but nobody can see it. So I mean it doesn't really matter which hardware you'll go for because it stays at the back anyway if you wear it crossbody like so. This handbag is 100% lambskin so just like the Chanel classic flaps. In lambskin it is pretty much the same leather. It is so soft. It's buttery soft. It is super shiny which I absolutely love. It looks so luxurious and I love holding and touching this bag because it's so soft and so smooshy. The leather is very soft but at the same time because it's padded it is extra soft like a pillow. My bag is in color narrow or black. I've decided to go for a very classic one. I wanted a new black bag as a replacement of my Diorama bag because that one is so old, it has holes in it. So I wanted something new and I thought this would be a perfect addition. It is very understated and that's what I loved about this bag. The dimensions of this bag are 18 centimeters by 26 by 8 and I will be including those in inches as well. And the strap drop is 50 centimeters which in my opinion is perfect and you can also adjust it to whichever length you want. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. Mine is right in the middle and I'm for example 168. I get this question so often whenever I do a bag review because you guys want to understand how it's going to sit on you. I obviously understand it so here's my high. And if you're interested in this bag it comes in a huge variety of different colors. You can go on the Tag Veneta website and check them out but they just have every single color in the palette. Now let's talk about what fits inside and frankly speaking this bag is not as spacious as it looks. It looks very spacious and very big because it's so puffy but in fact it is it is pretty small inside. If you have a 30 Montaigne bag, it is pretty much the same sizing. So it doesn't fit a lot of things inside, but I've got my phone over here and it fits perfectly. Then I have my card holder, as always, my favorite from Dior. I've got my lipstick. It's like this lip balm from Carmex, my favorite. Then my hand sanitizer, of course, we always need it. And let's put my AirPods. So now you can 
really see yay <laughs> let's try again maybe here yes it's better so it's pretty much full having just a few items inside but i'm not complaining i don't like big bags and i love plain touches i love trying to squeeze everything inside and you can for sure stuff this bag to the fullest i wouldn't recommend that because this lining is all lambskin and it's puffy so it will scratch pretty easily and your stuff can actually damage the bag it can leave all these creases and marks and dents inside so if you want to avoid that if you want to keep your bag in a, the most pristine condition possible then i wouldn't recommend trying to stuff it to the fullest and i would recommend leaving some space inside so it doesn't cause any dents on this puffy little uh, squares <laughs> now i will include some mod shots from the unboxing video so you can see how you can style this bag but you can for sure style it in a multiple different ways i love that it's in black color and it's very easy to go with different outfits and different looks you can put the strap inside and you can wear this bag as a clutch which will make it look a little bit more elegant and evening appropriate if you want to but my style is more sporty so i wear a lot of jeans a lot of pants and i think this this bag is just the best one to go for especially during winter and fall whenever it's a bit gloomier outside this bag is perfect for such weather i've been enjoying it so much and now let's talk about the most important thing the wear and tear and pros and cons i've had this bag for four months as i mentioned before since october and i've used it a ton i absolutely love this bag but um in terms of wear and tear i should say that it, it is pretty durable i haven't seen any scratches except for one on the side and I have a similar scratch on my uh, bobby bag from Dior and I I don't know where they come from but it's very not that visible at all especially since the, the leather is in black color you cannot really see it and I'm pretty sure I can buff it out I just haven't tried but I saw that it is there otherwise the bag is in very good condition all the corners of the bag look pristine to me it doesn't show any signs of wear at all and then the interior looks pretty good as well i don't see any wear at all and i honestly wasn't even trying to be very careful with this bag although it's lambskin and i know it's pretty delicate but in fact i can say that it is a pretty durable bag the only thing is that it has a little bit of creasing over here because of the closure i mean this part is very sharp and it digs right into this um, leather parts over here and that causes some creases and dents um, as i mentioned before with stuffing the bag but that's the only problem and it's not really me it's just how the bag was made so i'm not even sure if i should include it into wear and tear if that's how it's supposed to close then i can't really do much about it so a few pros of this bag is number one it is very understated it doesn't scream any brands and i mean this over here i know it sort of is like a logo of bottega veneta like the triangular shape to me honestly it doesn't say anything it doesn't even have bottega veneta it has um the writing over here in very tiny letters so nobody can really tell what brand it is but it's still very shiny and you can see that it's something of a good quality number two is that it's very very lightweight it's like a little cloud in my hands another pro is that it's lambskin and it feels buttery soft i love how luxurious it feels i love how soft it is and how smooshy it is the feeling is just so nice i love it and now let's talk about the cons so number one is that the strap is not removable i know i mentioned that you can put the strap inside and use this bag as a clutch but once you put the strap inside there is nothing else you can really put because <laughs> it is so tiny on the inside i mean you can fit like a card holder and maybe a phone but the strap inside takes up pretty much all the space of the bag so i wouldn't really recommend doing that uh, i mean it looks nice it looks pretty but um there is nothing else you'll be able to fit moving on to the next con it is very very tiny inside whenever i buy something and i want to put it inside even like a mascara i cannot fit it inside because i just don't have enough space this bag is very very small inside <laughs> if you're someone who likes to bring more things with you 
this isn't back for you but if you're someone who doesn't need a lot of things inside who loves mini bags then you should for sure consider it number three is i was talking about the lining and there is no lining the lining is pretty much the same as the exterior of the bag it looks absolutely the same inside and the problem with that is that it has some holes inside so if you put coins or tiny little things they might fall off the bag because of those tiny little holes inside i'm not even sure if the camera will catch it probably not but there are certainly um this see-through holes i mean i can for sure see some on this side of the bag and the very last and biggest con of this bag is that i went on the website before filming the review video as i often do when i film review videos and realized that it has gone up in price so it's now a little bit more expensive than it used to be so when i was buying my bag it was 2550 swiss francs right now it retails for 2890 swiss francs so it is a bit of an increase it's more than 10 percent which is quite a lot for Bottega Veneta and I even think that nobody really realized that but the price has gone up and to me this is the biggest deal breaker and also I would recommend not buying this bag full priced at all because I bought mine from Louis Via Roma and I got 15 percent off of this bag when I purchased it so if you're interested in this bag I would recommend going to Louis Via Roma saving it in your wish list and then you should just wait for a coupon code they always do this random coupon codes of 10 15 percent off or just create a new absolutely new profile with a new email address and then they will give you like 10 or maybe 15 percent off your first order you can also try that for sure i wouldn't recommend buying this bag full price because i honestly think it's not really worth it full price and um, especially after the price increase anyway this is it for my today's video i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye